Hi guys. Hi guys, it's Kelsey and Kendra, and this is part two of the Best of Beauty tag. 2013. Yeah, 2013 tag. It is not supposed to be a part two, but we decided to do a part two because we want to share with you our hair and skincare favorites of this year. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. Uh -huh. So first we're going to start with hair and we're not going to mention any shampoo and conditioner. Con conditioner. We're not going to mention any shampoo and conditioner in this video because um, we don't really, we can't really stick to one and we, we, we wouldn't call one like a whole yearly favorites because we switch up so many. Yeah, we use so many different shampoos and conditioners. So yeah, we're just going to mention like leave-in conditioners and stuff like that. So we're going to start with deep conditioner. Um, we're not going to, and this is straight hair products, by the way. We're going to start with our straight hair products. Um, so, the only deep conditioner that I would say have to, like, put in this yearly favorites is this um, Chi Nourish Intense Deep Conditioner. And we like a lot of deep, other deep conditioners that we use, but this is, like, our top favorite. So, absolutely love this stuff. We got it at TJ Maxx. I'm sure you can get it at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Yes. Any place like that. And it smells amazing like smells so good and the smell lingers throughout your hair yeah so like this is really really good and it's only ten dollars yeah we got well on sale <laughs> obviously not the regular price normally it's eighteen dollars yeah but we got it for tj maxx for 9.99 so love 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 this amazing deep conditioner as as far as leave leaving conditioners go um we only have two um and one we've been using for a long time well, well long first time. we're gonna go ahead and mention this one um and this the, it's, it's a the, it's a 10 um miracle, miracle leave-in leave conditioner mm -hmm. and you guys know there's 10 things on the back that so many people talk about but this is really really good and it's like a pretty much all in one heat protectant detangler everything a whole bunch of stuff and this makes a huge difference. basically any, everything your hair would need is in this bottle yeah and this makes a huge difference before we blow dry because our hair gets pretty tangled yeah and then the other um uh, yearly favorite we, i don't know why we didn't mention this in our uh, all about our hair video but i think I forgot. we forgot it was under my sink we have so many hair products i know we do but this is the um redken extreme anti-snap and we absolutely love this stuff. It smells absolutely amazing. And it's, it's very liquidy, like yeah, really lightweight. It's lightweight. It's not like too heavy on it your hair. It doesn't make your hair greasy. And we mainly just focus this on the ends um, because it helps with split it's ends. Like and it's, um, yeah. it's like a keratin. Yeah. It's like a keratin. It helps your hair not to break. Yeah. Uh, it's, that's why it's called the anti-snap. So it's like a leave-in treatment for a distressed hair. Mm -hmm. But it's a, a interlock protein network. So it has protein in it, which is, mm -hmm. you know, pretty it's much... Pretty makes your hair makes your hair really really strong so it doesn't mm -hmm. break off so yeah. this is also really good to blow before you blow dry so love this and this is the first one that we bought we got this one from ulta and i think you can get it for like 17 dollars some something we like got that. it for 17 I yeah think. so we still have quite a bit left so absolutely love this stuff really good okay so next um we're gonna talk about heat protector and this is basically the only one i have been using the entire year um, this is the Tresemme Thermal Creation Seat Tamer Spray, and this is an OG on here on YouTube. Like, Thanks so old. Very old, but you know, probably one of the best that you will ever use, and one of the cheapest, I might say, I might add. So, my number one is the Tresemme, well, our number one is the Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray. And so, I'll just talk about like my favorite, like, shine spray slash, like, if I don't want to use that as heat protection, I'm kind of in a rush, and I need like a two in one kind of thing. Is this Renewing Argan Oil of Morocco Weightless Healing Dry Oil? And it looks like this, and I love this stuff, and it smells so, so good, and it's, like, really, really lightweight, mm -hmm. like, dry, healing dry oil is for, like, really dry hair, and it makes it really moisturized, but you can barely feel it on your hair, you, you can barely feel it on your hair, like, when you spray, it's, like, the perfect mist, mm -hmm. it doesn't, like, stream out, so I absolutely love this stuff, and it makes it really, really shiny, so that's been one of my favorites. Um, so my favorite, um like anti-breakage like dry oil is um my anti-breakage keratin oil and you guys have heard me talk about this in a few favorites in like i think a favorites video or something and our all, and about, our all hair about hair video. video and as you can see i'm pretty much out of it i need to get another one but this stuff smells absolutely amazing and even though it's a keratin oil it doesn't make your hair like rough or anything so it's like it makes it moisturized and strong at the same time which is why i really like it and like it was very inexpensive i think it was like six dollars yeah. And I got it from Target or Ulta? Ulta. And I got it from Ulta, but I'm sure you can find it at Target, Ulta, or any other drugstore. So the kerosene oil was my favorite dry oil of the year. And I'm going to mention, mention really quickly a dry shampoo. 
because this is pretty much the only one that I like that I tried. I, the only other one I tried was the Suave one and it was okay. But I would probably have to say this is like my favorite one. And it's the Dove Hair Therapy Refresh Plus Care in Invigorating Dry Shampoo. And it is really, really good. As you know, Kelsey and I, we wash our hair once every two weeks when we straighten it. But um, in between that time, I like to spray this in like kind of before I curl my hair or whatever I'm doing to it. Even when I just want to put it in a bun and it feels kind of nasty. This. This is really good. And it smells amazing like it lingers through your hair like when i first used it Kessa was like what you got on <laughs> like she thought i sprayed like perfume or something but, I it, did. Was, but it was this and it has like the best smell so that's it for like my straight hair products but i guess now we're gonna go into curly, curly hair. hair um so i narrowed mine down to a, narrowed mine down to a styler and an oil and i don't have the oil with me right now I don't feel like getting up. It's in the kitchen. It is olive oil. I that's like my favorite. Olive oil and coconut oil are like my two favorite oils. We don't to have use. any more coconut oil. Yeah, we're completely out of that too. But those are like my two favorite oils to use on my curly hair. Every time I wear it's my like hair to curly, it's like curly the best hair. oil for curly hair. The most natural, organic thing you can use, and you can get it at the grocery store. So olive oil and coconut oil, my top two favorite oils for my curly hair. And then for a style, it has to be my cashmere curl jelly by Curls. And I absolutely love this stuff. It gives my hair amazing hold. In definition. In definition, yeah. But not like too crunchy. So that's why what, what I like about it. So it's like jelly basically. So I love this stuff. And you can find this at Target, Walmart, or Salas. Love that. Mm -hmm. And it's for my styler. I guess I'll go ahead and mention it. And this, um, this is the Curl Jealousy. And it's the Curl Gel slash Shine Serum with hold. So it's kind of like a two-in-one, like the best of both worlds. It's like really moisturizing and it makes your hair soft, but it has a little bit of hold. Mm -hmm. So it's not quite like the jelly consistency like Kelsey's. Um, this is more liquidy because it says it has a serum in it. Yeah. And like I just love anything that makes my hair shiny and defined. So love, love, love this. And it smells like orange jello. I want some. So look, it makes me want orange jello. So it smells really, really good. And I'm just gonna mention this quickly. It's the uh, it's the um, Curls Champagne and Caviar Curl Elixir. And I did we did say we like the olive oil and the coconut oil, which is still by far my favorite natural oils. Mm -hmm. But um, as far as um, from this line, this is like a really, really good. It's kind of like a serum, but it says it's a, an elixir, so mm -hmm. it's like a little bit thicker and. Mm -hmm. I can't really describe the texture, but you can also use this to massage your scalp, scalp. and it works so, so good for that because like my hair is curly and I need to do like a co-wash or something and I'm going to get lazy. It's just perfect to massage your scalp and it smells really good too. That And another curly hair product that I want to talk about that I don't have in this video and I hate that I threw away the container is my um, Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Y'all know. Like, before I started using that curl stuff, that stuff was, like, my baby. Like, that stuff was, like, my ride or die. And I still love it, too. I still love it. And y'all know you can get it at Target. So, love that Curl Enhancing Smoothie. So, um, that's it for hair. Now, we're just going to go into the skin. So, um, first off, I guess I'll start out with my favorite cleanser of the year. And, um... I have a lot of cleansers in my bathroom, keep in mind, so it's very hard to pick one. Uh -huh. But the one that I did choose is the Clean and Clear Essentials Foam and Cleanser. And this one is for um, sensitive skin. And it's just the uh, yellow um, color. And you guys saw me talk about this in our skincare routine. I absolutely love this stuff. It helps a lot. It's really good to help remove your, uh, the rest of your makeup after you take it off with the wipe. So, like, and it's, like, not too harsh on my skin because sometimes my skin is kind of crazy. And it's not drying because, you know, so I get flakes sometimes, like, if my skin reacts crazy. If you use the wrong cleanser, you yeah. try something new. Yeah, exactly. So, this hasn't done anything crazy to my skin. So, this has to be my favorite cleanser of 2013. For my favorite cleanser, um, it's kind of, you know, flat because it's almost gone. But um, this is the Clean and Clear Advantage 3-in-1 Exfoliating Cleanser. And it's supposed to exfoliate skin, treats pimples, and helps prevent breakouts. So this is, like, by far my favorite cleanser from Clean and Clear. And, um, yeah, this is my baby. This is my favorite because, like I said, it has the bees in it. And I feel like it's doing good, like, if I get breakouts because we don't have acne from skin. But if I get a breakout here and there, if I get a breakout here and there, this really helps it a lot. So I absolutely love, love, love this cleanser. Okay, so um, next we're going to go into um, toners. toners, and the first one I'm going to mention is um, one that I cannot ignore, and it's pretty much gone. It's the Clean and Clear Essentials Deep Cleaning Clean Toner, Yeah. Um, and it's just the blue one. Um, you saw us mention this in our skincare routine as well, and this is the Sensitive Skin one as well, and I absolutely love it because it's really, not... It doesn't burn. It doesn't burn or anything, and it's like really like, like, not intent too intense. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know how to explain it, but I really like this. Um, it's obviously it's almost gone, but I really like this Tom toner. 
The one that we both have is yes. the clear sale that we not recently purchased, but we didn't get it at the beginning of the year. It's kind of like towards the end of the year thing. We had it for like almost over a month. Yeah. So, so like a month yeah. and some weeks. Yeah, but this is the Clear Cell Ultra Rapid Action Pads, and it has um, 2% salicylic acid acne medication mm -hmm. in it. And it this, visibly reduces pimple size and redness in as little as four hours. And when they say that, it's not lying. It's not lying. Like if you have like a pimple or something, so, just so take good. the little pad and like hold it on that particular pimple after you wash your face. And like when you wake up the next morning, it's, it'll be like smaller. Yeah, it brings the size down. Mm -hmm. And also, of course, we like rub it all, all over our, our face as face. a toner mm -hmm. after we wash our face. Mm -hmm. But um, it's a little on the potent side, but I kind of like that feeling because I feel yeah. like it's doing what it's supposed to do. Yeah, but if your skin, skin is sensitive, I wouldn't recommend, wouldn't recommend using this. Cause our skin is kind of tough when it comes to that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, but this stuff is really, really good. It has like a really fresh smell and of course we, we use it at night and it has 90 pads in here, so that's a, a lot of pads and it was only like 5 $6, like five ninety nine. Yeah, it target. not expensive at all. Yeah, so love love these. And it's really convenient if you don't want to use a toner, a toner and like have a cotton pad or um, yeah, these are already wet, so you just take it out and just wipe it uh -huh. on your face. So love these. And as far as moisturizers go, I have two moisturizers, and one is from Proactive, and I don't use Proactive. Let's get that straight. <laughs> but um, I we got this in our little bag um, for free at Generation Beauty. Um, we went to LA a few months ago, like in the summer, and it's this green tea moisturizer. Um, and it says it soothes and dries dry skin. It's oil free, so that's the best part about this. And it has like the freshest, like clean smell, clean green tea smell. Like if you have sensitive skin, I would highly, highly recommend this stuff because it's like I would think that it would like be really soothing and like calming. And it's really, really good. So I recommend this for anybody. And then my second is the Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Control Moisturizer. And y'all know I love this stuff. You saw it in the skincare video. So love this. Um, okay, so my first um, favorite moisturizer of the year has to be my Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. I use this pretty much every day. I use it when I'm not wearing makeup, when I'm wearing makeup. Love this stuff. This is my number one moisturizer. Love it. Um, and then my second one, this is the one I use at night. And this is the Acne Control Moisturizer. Um, love this stuff it really does help prevent breakouts so i just like to use this all over my face at night after i apply my toner so i've been like grab using this like crazy all year so love both of those and last but not least for skincare is um two treatments that i love and this is my tried and true um clear pore neutrogena mask and i absolutely love this stuff like for when i for like once a week when i want to do like a treatment on my skin i need like to get all the gunk out so love this. I've been using it forever. I got a new one, but this is just the one I'm using right now. And then as far as like a pimple treatment, like a spot on treatment, I've been loving this Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Spot Treatment. Um, and it's oil free, so it's pretty amazing. And I think we have like three or four of these that aren't even open yet. So I absolutely love this. I have another one in my purse too. Okay, so next we're gonna go into like body, body care. care. So we just have this body is the washes. Last section, yeah, by the way. We're almost done. We have body washes and a lotion. So the first body wash I'm going to mention is this um, Soft Soap Body Butter Coconut Scrub. And I really, really like this because it's like a tool one. It's a scrub and it's also moisturizing. So, like, I just absolutely love this stuff. Like, it smells absolutely amazing. It's awesome for exfoliating. And this is just, like, like I'm going to have to keep buying this over and over again because it's, like, one of my top favorite body washes. So, I love this stuff. Okay. And then... Uh, recently, not recently, but for about two, well, almost two months now, I've discovered the Caress Scarlet We've Gloss. discovered. The Caress line in general has like yeah. the best smelling body washes. Yes. Like this stuff. But this ha by far has to be my favorite scent and it's in the Scarlet Blossom. This is the fresh bottle. I finished one like uh, almost two weeks ago. So I haven't even used this one yet, but y'all, this stuff <laughs> is amazing. And it kind of smells similar to when I talked to y'all about that um, party dress candle from Bath & Body Works. I yeah. said it reminded me of this scent. Yeah, it has like a cologne perfumey smell. It's like a seductive, feminine, womanly scent. Like, it's a sexy smell. Go get this. Like, no questions. Just go get it and you will <laughs> love me, I promise. Like, this stuff is amazing. And caress in general. Like, love these body washes. And then as for lotion. Oh, this... This stuff the is the truth. Of the year. This stuff is the truth. This, this is the, the Nivea Essentially Enriched Body Lotion. And this is in the rich 
Not the light. This the, is the rich. Like the, the one, most moisturizing Yes, formula. this is the one for dry to very dry skin. And this has saved us this winter because like our skin is extremely dry right. like anybody else's in the winter. And this is the only lotion that doesn't Works. like, you put it on and it like stays on. You know it like absorbs some lotions, really good into your skin. Yes. It doesn't dry. Some lotions are like really watered down. And you feel ashy like five minutes after you yes. put it on. You don't yes. ashy with this. Doesn't. So we put this on after the shower every it's single night. Amazing. And it like has done. All over your body. Yeah. It's done miracles for our skin. We both can vouch so for that. We, we repurchased another one. So this is still the one, the first one. That yeah, you but I want I, I'm a cry if I run out, so I had to get a backup. Yeah, I had to get one. So love this lotion. Okay, and that is it for our fav beauty favorites of 2013. Um, we hope you guys enjoyed both of these videos. Um, we had an amazing year here on YouTube, and we know there's like so much more to come. We have so many more ideas and videos to film for you guys for the year 2014. Hello to our new subscribers, and yeah. hello to our old babies who have been here with us for years. Yes. So, um, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, we hope it wasn't too long for you guys. And yeah, we're going to stop rambling now, like we always say. Yeah. And we'll just see you guys in our next video. Bye. Bye.